when you determine that you want to have bariatric surgery, one of the most difficult decisions to make is who is going to do the surgery. It's one of the things that I really noticed was a big issue is a lot of times the surgery went well, but the follow-up um, just, you know, life got in the way. People were too busy to go to the support groups that are typically offered for this or the follow-up classes. A lot of people, I think, that fail, get the surgery done and don't do any of the, you know, support that you need. And basically, when you get the surgery, this is a huge tool to help you with weight loss. But during over long term, you really need support. You need to start to learn some ins and outs, uh, watching YouTube, watching the people with their tips and tricks. But the medical professionals, they are kind of the, really the people that you should be listening to the most as to what's best for you. Um, Surgery is always a risk. There's always complications that could happen. You definitely, you know, want somebody that has experience with this. A lot of experience is better. Um, but I think also making sure that you're not choosing a surgeon that is three hours away when you have one that's a little bit closer because what really is going to help you is that follow-up process. Now I know I come from an extremely small town, probably the closest bariatric surgeon to my small town is an hour away. If that's the closest, then that's the closest. Uh, from my understanding of the surgery, the, the, the procedure itself is laparoscopic. It's, of course, surgery, of course, is, you know, scary. And again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't say for sure, but from what I've heard, it's really a pretty easy surgery to do. Um, they do keep you overnight in the hospital, but it's more because they kind of want to, your stomach's going to be swollen and they want to work and make sure that you don't become dehydrated right after surgery because it's going to be difficult to drink lots of water. So... Basically, the surgeon I chose is probably a 10 to 15 minute drive from my house. So after my surgery, I completely plan on going to the support groups, going to the post-op classes, and just really taking full advantage of everything that they have to offer. Basically, I was told that my surgery is going to be the big cost, but the after follow-up care, there's really no cost for the support group. There's no cost for the pro-stop classes. So to me, it's kind of a no-brainer. I'm going to do that. I'm going to listen to what they say. I'm going to bring my questions um, and just kind of go from there. there. Basically, when I went in, I knew that I wanted the gastric sleeve. I've seen people that have had each of the different operations except for one of them. And I've seen their outcomes. Now, when I sat down with him, of course, I wanted to hear what he thought was best for my body. And basically, he started off with the gastric band, which no matter what, I was completely not interested in. Basically, when you think of the gastric band, what they do is they don't remove any part of your stomach. They put a band around the top portion that then has an area um, where there's a port on your stomach where you can loosen or tighten the bands. So let's say you, you know, you're at home and you really want to be dieting, you can tighten it up real tight. What's going to happen is, is that band is going to make the food reach the top of your stomach faster, touching those receptors, and then it's going to you know, take longer to go through that tightened area, which is going to make you feel full longer. I knew for a fact that I was never going to do this surgery. I have, and I'm not saying that everybody has had this experience, but some of the complications I've seen were, you know, pretty horrendous. That the band eroded, causing some of them, it became inflamed. One lady, she kept having chronic pneumonia, and they think it's because of the erosion of the band is basically what they thought. Um, and then I've also haven't seen, you know, if you're going to be going on vacation and you loosen the band up and you're loosening and tightening, loosening and tightening, 
are you really going to lose that much weight? I, I have, I've yet to really see that just shock me with weight loss. So I told him that was a no, that was a no go. The next procedure that he talked about was the gastric bypass. This is probably one of the more popular ones. Um, it's basically where they cut off your stomach, having it like the size of a walnut, and then they take out the first part of your intestines, and then they reconnect your stomach um, further down in your intestines. This um, definitely shows tremendous weight loss. They've improved it a lot since it started. This is a really, I mean, it's a really good surgery. It's a really good option. Some of the concerns I had with this is the food limitations. There would be certain foods that you could just really never eat again. Um, that made me nervous. Also, it's a pretty, I mean, it's a drastic weight loss. Now, going in there, just wanting to feel healthier um, and lose a healthy amount of weight, this would be, I, th I felt, a little bit too drastic for me. Now, if you have diabetes, on the other hand, this is the surgery you want. Um, but I haven't been diagnosed with diabetes yet. That is one of my great fears and one of the reasons that I've decided to do this surgery is because of the fact that my mom and my grandfather both had type 2 diabetes. And obviously with the lifestyle I'm living, that's probably pretty, that's, that's probably going to come pretty soon for me. But since I didn't have this, this is one of the ones I started thinking about, but not really what I wanted. The one that I chose to do and the one that he suggested for me, which made me feel good was the gastric sleeve. And basically with the gastric sleeve, they're going to cut out 70% of your stomach, leaving about enough for five ounces. You can still have all the different foods you like to eat, all that, but it's not as drastic as a gastric bypass. So when you think of a gastric sleeve, what you want to think about is your stomach being the shape of a banana. And what happens is, is it gets full faster because it's such a narrow tube. You can't eat as much. You usually start off eating a quarter of a cup. Um, and you see a significant kind of weight loss, not as quick as the gear as the gastric bypass. When I went in, um, that was one of the questions I asked is if I did the gastric sleeve and I felt like it was just not working for me, could I do the gastric bypass? And he said he does revision surgeries and he said that, you know, that's not our goal. He said that is not our goal, obviously, to do a surgery and reverse it, but if it needed to be done, it could. Which made me feel a little bit better about my decision for the gastric sleeve. Now, going from the gastric bypass to the gastric sleeve, after they've cut off that stomach, there's really not that option. So it made me feel safer to be doing the sleeve, plus that's the one I'm more interested in for what I'm looking for in my weight loss journey. There was a fourth one, a fourth procedure that he does that I had never heard of it. it was called reshape and basically it's a balloon that they put into the stomach he didn't even mention it to me I looked at this on his website but basically they fill these balloons with saline and if they're placed properly you can lose 20 to 40 pounds so after I got done talking with him and I we both decided on the fact that I wanted to do the gastric sleeve they immediately set me up with a surgical um, coordinator. Insurance is gonna dictate a big part of this. Uh, I live in Colorado. I have Cigna Insurance. Cigna Insurance is awesome at this. I Kudos to Cigna. The other one that I've noticed covers it really well is Blue Cross Blue Shield. United Healthcare, from what I heard, they do not cover this insurance very well. Those are kind of the big insurances that we have here in Colorado. And there's Kaiser, which I really don't know anything about. I know that they do bariatric surgeries at their facility. It's just nothing I, I really know about. But if anybody knows, please feel free to comment below um, so we can kind of spread the word on how they do with coverage. So she brought me into the room and she told me that there is different things that I need to do to prepare. Things was that I needed to get lab work done. They said lab work can be done six months ahead 
And basically it was looking at all my nutrients. They also wanted to, for me to see my primary primary care doctor where she needed to write a letter. They gave me not a you know sample letter, but basically a letter that said this, this, and this needs to be said within this letter. And that she needed to write that. I had to get a psych eval. Some people like to put that off to the very end. Wrong thing to do. Psych evals to get in with a psychiatrist can be extremely hard. And then one of the, then they can also do, um, depending on what conditions you have already. For instance, I, I'm young. I really don't have any comorbidities like I've said yet. Um, but if you're having cardiac problems, they probably want to have you do an echocardiogram, maybe a stress test. But if you have breathing issues, they may want you to see a pulmonologist. They One of the other things, especially for the revisions, um, either doing an EGD, the upper GI. So, um, if you're a smoker, smoking, first of all, is horrible for you, but um, smoking really can affect your healing process. So they require people four weeks ahead of time to quit smoking. Um, another thing I had to do was a three month diet that had to be 89 days or longer. The way they did it was my initial visit where I went in and seen that where she suggested my bariatric surgery. And then I made an appointment with a nutritionist, the one-on-one. -on -one. I met with her, that was my second visit, and then I made another one 30 days longer to do my fourth nutrition visit. I like the nutrition visits because instead of saying, hey, go on Weight Watchers or hey, go on this diet, she told me, we're gonna go on a diet that's gonna be very similar to when you, you're done with bariatric surgery. Do the nutritionist, um, I just think that that to me I felt like that was a little bit more informative working in a doctor's office when people come in and tell us that they're going to do bariatric surgery we just, we just kind of give them a basic guideline but there's a big difference to changing the way you eat because the way you're going to eat after bariatric surgery is a lot different but it's a very specific diet and having that routine down um, with your diet really will help I think long term with weight loss. Then they needed um, a pre-app class. It's not too bad you know depending on what your insurance is really what you're gonna have to do. This is what I had to do basically was those things and I wanted to get them done as soon as possible because it was almost it's almost the end of the year and I want to have my surgery in January just because I feel like January is such a good time because I have my New Year's resolution every year to lose weight and I honestly feel like this is going to be kind of the first year that I'll actually do it which I don't know makes me really excited but <laughs> I do know that during the holiday times it would be extremely difficult for me to decide to just up and do the surgery because of the fact that Thanksgiving's coming up. I love turkey. Um, Christmas is coming up. I love everything that has to do with Christmas. It's just, it's a difficult time. Could I do it? Yeah. Would I feel more successful if I did it in January? Yes. So I quickly did all mine so that they can submit it right after the first of the years. Hopefully I can do it in early January. I won't know. I haven't gotten any clearance yet from my insurance company to know further, but that's kind of my goal. But those are my thoughts as to picking your doctor and then kind of getting set up for insurance. If there's anything you want to comment on, especially if you know anything about the Kaiser bariatric surgery, please comment below. And if you're new to my channel, please, hit the subscribe button, click those notifications to be turned on, and please continue to join me on my journey to my gastric sleeve.